Port Huron teenager caught in the path of a near tragedy is on the road to recovery tonight. Surveillance video shows what happened. The 16 year old Ooh. just walking on the sidewalk when two cars crashed, nearly killing him. This happened at 10th and Beard Street in Port Huron two months ago. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner live at Children's Hospital in Detroit, where that teen is now out of intensive care. Jim. He's made a lot of progress, but there's a long way to go. The small community up in Port Huron is here in a big way in the big city hospital. He just turned 16 two days before this, and uh, we didn't even get to have his birthday party. Look carefully at the top of the screen. One car hits another. Jaden was walking in the wrong place at the wrong time. This is too painful for his mother to watch. Well, the first day we thought we were going to lose my son. She would rather look at and show you Jaden's progress. This was two months ago in intensive care. This is today. Jaden still communicates with hand signals. He's still on a feeding tube, but is working hard to walk. But he's starting to kind of stand with lots of assistance. Right. And um, I think he's doing amazing. I just try to keep staying positive because the negative can consume you pretty quick. I just wish everything could be normal again, and I wish that none of this ever happened. Go back to the surveillance video and you can see one of the drivers takes off. Police would chase down and arrest 43-year-old Patrick Hewell of Kimball. His charges, fleeing, leaving the scene, driving on a suspended license. Why you'd leave a scene of a crime where you hit a child, there's never going to be an excuse good enough for that. Today, take a look inside Port Huron High School where the students are selling Believe in Jaden flyers to raise money for the family. From what I know about the families, they're, they're hardworking people, but you know, if you can't work, it's hard to uh, be able to make ends meet. One day coming, they hope soon, they'll all be back together in Port Huron. We're just waiting for him to make a recovery so we can have the biggest birthday party he's ever had in his life. So they are going through this together. Now, just today, they set up a GoFundMe page, Believe in Jaden. If you want to help them out, you can look that up. We put a link on our website, WXYZ.com. Live outside Children's Hospital, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action. Yeah, a lot of thoughts and prayers going out to that family tonight, Jim. And we all believe in Jaden. Hopefully he'll be better real soon. Thank you, Jim.